Our Dr. David Agus joins us now from his home in Los Angeles. David, good morning. Morning, Anthony. David, David the, the FDA has authorized a test that can produce results in as little as five minutes. How reliable is this test and how significant could it be? Well, it's five minutes for a positive result, 13 minutes for a negative result from Abbott Labs. And it, you know, it's transformative in a sense. When a patient comes to you, I can get the result while they're there and tell them what to do. It's the same test that was used for strep throat and influ influenza. Now they have it for COVID-19. And they're going to be doing about 50,000 tests initially a day across the country in hospital labs and clinics. I'm excited for the management on my patients. No question about it. Yeah, and, and it's accurate, you think, David? No question. I mean, this accuracy, it's the same technology where you're looking at 100 letters of the 30,000 letters of the viral code. So the same as the previous tests, but just the hardware enables it to be happen much quicker and easier. Okay, David, President Trump has, says the FDA has also approved uh, a process to sterilize the N95 masks that hospitals need so desperately. Uh, how's that going to work? And do we think that's going to help the problem in hospitals right now? Well, it's certainly a piece of the puzzle in that this technology from Battelle in Ohio is a, basically a room where you can put in 40,000 masks at a time and with an aerosolized gas, it can kill the virus. And so two and a half hours later, you have a mask that can be used again. Each mask can be used 20 times. So every time it's sterilized, they mark it. And at 20, they throw it away. So that's almost 20 times more masks, if you think about just the simple numbers there. So things like this, innovation from America, are what's going to make us hopefully win this war. All right, David, Dr. David Agus, thank you, David.